AC through a capacitor. So we consider a circuit with a capacitor of capacitance C is an unchargeable one and it is connected across a supply of instantaneous voltage V which is given by Vm sin omega t. Now here the current will be flowing through this it is because of the charging and discharging of the capacitor according to the AC voltage. So conduction is possible through charging and discharging and as the charging and discharging is going on there will be a displacement current coming and all those things you can take up. So through this gap there will be a current which is called displacement current and that is introduced in the electromagnetic wave. So through the charging and discharging of the capacitor the conduction of current is possible through this capacitor circuit. And therefore, we can consider the charging and discharging and according to the capacitor equation at any instant, the charge of the capacitor is equal to C into B. This is the capacitor equation you studied in electrostatics. Okay? Now, as at any instant, the charge is equal to C into V, where V is the instantaneous voltage you are applying to. And therefore, Q will be equal to C into Vm sin omega T. And therefore, instantaneous current I can be equal to d by dt of the instantaneous charge Q. That is, rate of flow of electric charges can be taken as the current. From that you get d by dt of c into vm into sin omega t. Now solving this or differentiating that one you get I equal to C into Vm is constant, then d by dt of sin omega t. d by dt of sin omega t is omega into cos omega t. Therefore, I can have this equation I equal to Vm by 1 by C omega and rewriting it accordingly into cos omega t or I equal to Vm divided by 1 by C omega into cos omega t can be taken as sin omega t plus pi by 2. That means from this I can write current I equal to I m sin omega t plus pi by 2. And actually we started with V equal to Vm sin omega t. So instantaneous voltage is Vm sin omega t, but instantaneous current is equal to Im sin omega t plus pi by 2. So what it means is that as the voltage is applied across the capacitor, the current is found to be leading the voltage by pi by 2 means current is always ahead of the voltage by a phase angle of pi by 2. So this is just against what you have seen in the case of inductor. Okay? So there is here also there is what? The 
phase angle difference, but the current is now leading the voltage by the phase angle of pi by 2. Okay, so this is the equation connecting instantaneous voltage and instantaneous current which is flowing through the capacitor. So, we introduce a point here that IM, the peak value of current is equal to Vm by 1 by C omega. Then, this 1 by C omega is acting as a kind of opposition and we call that equal to Xc. We call this as capacitive reactance. Capacitive reactance. It's also a kind of resistance. A kind of resistance, but this also depends on the frequency omega. So, another point to be noted from this is that as we have seen that 1 by C omega is equal to capacitive reactance then Xc is inversely proportional to omega or inversely proportional to frequency. Okay? And therefore, the graph between graph between omega or frequency and Xc will be of this shape. Means as the frequency increases, capacitive reactance will be decreasing. So this graph is also very important. 